Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and we are in EverQuest 2 on Fever. Now, Fever here is not a wizard, he's a warlock, which is an archetype of the wizard class. Um, each class in this game has two types, so like the... Um, the rogue has assassin and swashbuckler. The um, conjurers is the necromancer and um, the mage and so on. Um, so I'm playing the new race, which is the Arakin, I think is how it's said. And it seems to be okay. Nothing really different so far. Um, you can glide, which you'll see me doing, uh, and apparently whenever you get to 35, they'll be able to do more with their wings, and at 85, they will be calm, full-fledged uh, flying wings. They are a race that's based off of, um, they were the servants of a uh, dragon, and uh, so that's why they look the way they do. So, this is, um, whenever you're starting out and you're choosing your location, this location is called Gorwin, and, uh, this is actually Timorous Deep, and this is the first island that you encounter. There's, I believe, uh, three islands that you'll actually level on, and, um, the quests are rather simple, um, I would suggest that if you're going to start somewhere that you would start here or Frostfell. You can start in uh, Freeport or Kinos, but these places, the Frostfell and Gorwin, they give you everything you need to start out. Um, that includes um, two full sets of armor and... Um, and rings and all your other slots so every slot on your character will be um will be filled after you complete all the quests here let's go ahead and talk about um just the different spell types you have the um red background spell as a single target spell and usually can't be cast while running you have the blue background and that gives you an area effect which you can run while you're casting it um, actually you can spam it just for graphical effect uh, but it is it is something that you can pull mobs start casting it and then stop run back into the mobs and it goes off now when you get higher level You'll have um, equipment that helps you cast faster and all of that. So it's not like it's going to give you a lot of time to, to precast it. There's different types of mobs in the game. There's these which are standard mobs. And then there's heroic. And then there's heroic uh, 1, 2, and 3. Um, heroic 1, 2, and 3 mean um it would take one two or three people to kill that mob uh, in normal settings so you to be able to kill uh three you have to have decent gear um then there's epics and those are usually times two and times four meaning it would take um two raid groups or four raid groups to kill that zone uh that brings me to the other kind of spell uh whenever it comes to attacking and that is the green background and the green background um in this game mobs will group up not like these guys are here because i pulled them uh, but there's actual linked together mobs and when they're linked together, the green spell will actually hit all of those guys. So you can hit them with a double area effect by doing the green and then doing the blue. Um, 
Warlock. A Warlock versus a Wizard. A Wizard is single target, large damage. Where a Warlock is single target, decent damage, but all their spells are poison spells. So they all have some kind of dot effect to them. And when you get a lot of them going, it's, um, <laughs> it, it, it takes a mob down pretty fast. Um, I don't know how this character is going to do compared to my wizard. My wizard is able to, um, to solo pretty darn well. And, um, he can insta-kill pretty much most of the mobs his level. So, I'm, I'm very interested to see how this all works out. As far as this game goes, um, why you'd want to play it, um, I would think that anyone who likes crafting, which uh, a lot of people don't, but in this game it's rather easy. And um, what you're able to do with crafting is every spell um, or skill on melee um, has different versions to it. Uh, you start out with journeyman, I think, and then it goes up to adept, and then expert, and then master, and then grandmaster. Now, um, expert, I think, I think it's called expert. Expert is, uh, the type that you would make as a crafter, and, uh, usually it's made through, um, a skill where you're making other things other than spells. Like, um, for DPS classes like the Swashbuckler, um, their spells are made through alchemy. Um, warriors are through, um, I can't remember. Mages are through, um, jewelry or um sage work things like that so it's even if you don't want to craft i would suggest at least getting your harvesting maxed and the reason that is is because you will need items from harvesting to get spells or to get armor uh, or to get equipment or you can just sell the items that you get from harvesting also, the fact that um, every uh, spell or every piece of good equipment is made by a rare that you harvest. So, if you can get the rare, then you're able to go ahead and um, go ahead and hand somebody the rare, and they'll they'll go ahead and make the spell for you usually for free. It just depends, and also depends on if you're in a guild. Also in the game, you're able to, um, you're able to get, um, trying to think what, it is, what I'm trying to say. You're able to get a house, and if you are, um, a carpenter, you're able to create items to put in your house if you're into decorating. Another thing that I love about this game is that you can make your character look however you want your character to look. And I'll show you that in another video. But I have um, my main character who's level 94 who's um, a swashbuckler. And he he looks crazy. And he's the size of most people's boots. He's shrunk twice um, using items that I've gotten for him. So that's another thing that I really like about this versus say um, EverQuest is that while you you have a choice in the items that you can wear, like if you're a caster you can get a frog lock bone caster's robe or a shiny metallic robe or a shiny metallic robe of the underfoot uh, things like that, but other than those choices, there really isn't much that you can do as far as the way you look. Um, so, I I think a lot of people would appeal to this kind of game just because of 
the other things you can do other than killing. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up is that this is not going, this is going to only be a quested character, meaning that I'm not going to do this new dungeon thing that's in the game that can pretty much get you from 1 to 90 in a day. And I will show you those dungeons on another character, but on this character I want to actually level the way you did back in Classic. So that's that's something that um, we'll be doing. We'll, I'll show you heritage quests and also crafting quests, things like that that will allow you to grow your character any way that you want. And then I'll show you how you can level your character up from level 10 to 95 without doing anything, <laughs> pretty much, and not learning your character. And that's one of the things I think is um, really bringing this game down is the fact that you're not learning your character because you're able to go from level 1 to 95 in a day. Um, and that's through a dungeon system where um, a level 95 and a level 10 can group together. But anyway, we'll talk about that another day. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want to see in this game, definitely let me know. This is Cypher Dyke. Peace out.